on this episode of China Uncensored, nothing says Christmas like a war on drugs. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. Tis the season to be jolly, I say. A time of brotherhood, a season of giving. Just ask my friend, Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte. He knows the true meaning of Christmas. I mean, check out this video he made for Christmas last year. Alam ninyo, ako'y tao lang. Kaya binabati ko pa rin. Merry Christmas. Kayo mga durugista, magdanakaw, korap, kriminal, at yung napapahirap sa Pilipino. Kaya kung ayaw ninyong minto at patuloy pa rin karasan, ito na ang huli ninyo. Merry Christmas. Yikes! He's more like Krampus than Santa Claus. Santa Claus, apparently, is being played by China this year. And it's given Duterte a major Yule log. He's been seeking weapons from China since the beginning of his presidency. Details of the deal aren't public yet, but Duterte has done a pretty good job of making last year's Christmas threat a promise. As of December 1st, his police have killed more than 2,000 people in his war on drugs. The international community has condemned his drug war. And Duterte has condemned the international community. Just give an advice to the all human rights, rights shouting now, local and international. I said you can all go to hell. Since Duterte became president, he's moved for closer ties with China at the expense of ties with the U.S. Duterte even agreed to take a back seat on the hotly contested territorial dispute between the Philippines and China. So much so that Filipino fishing boats can visit the Scarborough Shoal again. Trust me, I know. But here's the thing. Duterte wants help from China fighting his war on drugs. Yet, according to a reliable source, a lot of the drugs, drug dealers, and materials come from China. And that reliable source is Duterte himself. In fact, in July this year, shortly after becoming president, Duterte met with Chinese businessman Peter Lim, who is um, totally not a drug lord, and instead of killing him, gave him a chance to clear his name with the National Bureau of Investigation. Probably had nothing to do with them knowing each other from before. Then in September, Duterte spoke about how the machinery that makes synthetic drugs, like methamphetamine, comes from China. Lot of materials coming from China. If you consider us as your friend, you want to help us. But most of the materials, lot and the machines and the boilers, are from China. What does that mean? What does that mean? It means this year, Santa Claus China wears a pork pie hat. You see, they supply the best drugs and the machines to make the drugs. But amazingly, the drug enforcers ask for their help. Then, in the end, they're the ones to bring the big guns and kill the drug dealers. And millions of people think they're the heroes. Now that's smart business, China. So what do you think? Leave your comments below. And if you like the show, please support China Uncensored on Patreon. The link is below. Thanks for watching this episode. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. Hey, while I was in Taiwan, I teamed up with Alan from Off the Great Wall for a night market adventure. Click here to check it out. So yeah, it's great to be in um, basically the parallel timeline version of a democratic China where they didn't destroy the culture.